So um, I'm so happy to uh, introduce to you uh, Madhurat from Germany, Sriman Madhurat Prabhu from Germany. Uh, I've only got to know him during Kartik Vrat online. It shows you you can make friends online because um, you knew it was time for the Kartik program because he turned up on time one minute before every single time, like Gurudev's timing, amazing. But also in addition, and I know I don't want to embarrass you Prabhu, so close your ears if you're easily embarrassed. But in addition to being on time and being a steadfast uh, member of our, uh, of our Kartik Vrat, he also uh, in a very humble and shy way revealed how extensive his knowledge is of uh, of the Tattva and the Ras, uh, and I feel like I have a lot to discover uh, by becoming deeper friends with him because um, he is uh, very humble and yet at the same time has a lot of beautiful insights into Krishna consciousness. So Prabhu, so happy you're uh, making your offering. I'll hand over to you and I will relish your Kata. Hare mm -hmm. Hare Krishna. Um, thank you for allowing me to speak today. Um, I got the direct blessing of our Shabda Pati, Yashodananda Prabhu, that today everything will be wonderful. So I feel encouraged to speak and also I feel very comfortable to speak today. So I just want to offer um, the prayers first and then I try to offer um, Puspanjali to Srila Gurudev. Gurave Gaurachandraya Radhikaya Tadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tat Bhaktaya Namo Namaha Agyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Unmilitam Yena Tasme Sri Gurave Namaha Nama Vishnu Padaya Radhikaya Priyatmane Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayaniti Namane Sri Krishna Lila Karana Sudaksam Audaya Madhu Yagunesa Yuktam Varam Varinyam Purushan Tamantam Narayanam Tum Shirasana Mami Tirandinam Bhakta Shiro Manim Chasi Krishna Parapta Tidai Kadidi Chaitanya Lilam Mitasarasaram Narayanam Tum Satatam Kapatya Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pistaya Bhutale Sisimata Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nivishesha Sunyavadi Pasatade Satadine Vanchaka Patarupascha Vanchaka Patarupascha I'm a little bit too nervous. Um, uh, we can sing it together, we can do it together. Uh, no, I wanted to sing. Uh, Vancha Kapata Rupa Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Garata Shiva Sari Sri Gaura Bhakti Brinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I offer my heartfelt and Dhanavad pranams to our Guru Parabhatma, to equally also to Bhakti Vedanta Tirika Maharaj and also Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, to also offer my heartfelt Dhanavad pranams to Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Goswami Maharaj, um, um, Bhakti Valapta to Goswami Maharaj, Aniruddha Prabhu, and also um, Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Daita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, um, Srila Gogovindam Maharaj, um, our Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, um, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, um, Srila Gokishor Gok Das Babaji Maharaj, um, Bhakti Nuttakur, um, all our Goswamis, especially um, Rupa Goswami, who by his mercy we're taking the, the Sudarshan of Krishna's pastimes, um, because um, if we take darshan by our own mind and senses, we're taking the, I heard from senior Vaishnavas, we're taking ku darshan, means contaminated darshans, because I also wanted to glorify the, um, the, the samadhi and the bhajan kutir of Rupa Goswami, 
and also the, um, the, the, the Radha Damodar Mandir itself, because out of their own sweet will, the Radha Damodar, they always like to protect me, like Krishna is protecting his cows, his monkeys, and even his dogs. And also I want to especially glorify the, um, the, the, the Bhajan Kutir of Bhakti Vinata Swami Prabhupada, where he started translating the, um, the, the, the Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita for us. And um, also I wanted to glorify Srila Gurudev, how he came from Mathura to serve um, uh, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Um, he brought some sweets for him. He, he, our Gurudev, he brought the, um, his own books from his own library to help Srila Prabhupada in the translation. And um, both together, they, um, they, they, they performed Arati for Radha Damoda. And our Gurudev, he told how, um, how, how sometimes Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, he was so absorbed in very deep moods that um, he, he could not sing even. He was just playing Madanga. And at that time, um, our Srila Gurudev, he was singing the Arati for Radha Damoda. So seeking all the blessings and uh, the, 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 the well-wishing uh, blessings of all the assembled Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, um, respected guests, I, today I try to offer my uh, humble Pushpanjali at uh, the lotus feet of our Guru Parapatma. So um, I noted, I, I wrote down some points um, that I uh, won't lose. Um, the track in this offering. Um, first of all, I wanted to, um, I, I have two points for introduction. And then afterwards, I tried to remember something from Navadvip Dham and also something from Braj Mando. So I, 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 I'm looking at the watch. I hope everything will be in time. So um, first of all, I tried to, um, I tried to explain I, this what I'm trying to speak. This is not my own, um, my own realization. I just I do anukirtan of some very senior Vaishnavas, and I just try to repeat their words. What um, because the situation? I'd like to explain the situation of the Nitya Bada Jiva and what is the position of the Nitya Mukta Jiva. Maybe you you are familiar with uh, Shila Gurudev's eternal. Um, uh, Siddhas Varup, which is to be the Ramana Manjari. Maybe you have read the Astakam of our Bhakti Vedanta uh, Madhav Maharaj, how he glorified um, Srila Gurudev, his Nitya Swarup. So our Gurudev, he's a direct, a Kaiha Vyuha of Srimati Radhika. There's no doubt about this. So the position of the Nitya Badajiv is very, uh, very poor. The Nitya Badajiv has no eyesight, cannot see cannot hear, cannot speak, then how the uh, Badajif will ever get nourishment or food in transcendental spiritual terms. Because even if one person is blind, um, he can find some ingredients and in how he will cook. And um, this also I forgot in the glorification of Rupa Goswami. You can collect as many flowers as you like, but you cannot get the honey. You can grind the flowers, you can cook the flowers, but you cannot get the, uh, the honey out of these flowers. So this is the position of the Nitya Mukta, the eternal associates of Krishna. Srila Gurudev explained that they're, they're not even bhaktas. The last limit of bhakti is Gurudev. He's Prem Atura. He's hankering for the Prem of Braj because the Nitya Siddha Parka, they're directly on the same position as Krishna. They're his associates, his friends, his beloved. And um, so I wanted to explain how they're coming into this world and how they're knowing about our fallen position. Like Srila Gurudev, he told, we can never repay him. There's no, and Gurudev told, I know that you cannot repay me. So um, our position is very poor. Um, how to get food, how to get nourishment. So um, like I explained the position, position of the Nitya Bharaji, if they are blind, they have no eyesight, they have no power to hear, they have no power to speak. So what does the, um, the, 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 the Nitya Mukta, what they do? They start feeding. They start feeding the, the, the Bada Jeev. And 
Our Gurudev, you always see glorified Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in this way. Who, who invited Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada to come to the West? No one. He came out of his own Ahoytiki Kripa, his causeless mercy came. He came for us. Therefore, we should feel very strong, Mamata, for, 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 for Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and also our Gurudev. Um, he, they really, they came for us to feed us. And this is the, um, the, the great fortune which cannot be calculated. There is no calcula calculation of the great fortune. We have to get some of the taste that we got the food of our uh, Guru Parampara. And um, even though we are tasting, we have no power to, to, to speak. Uh, to, 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 to glorify the, the, the taste even, or the, the, the like in, 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 in the Gopi Gita, it says the greatest donator, the Buri Dajana, like Tava Katam Ritam, Tapta Jivanam, Kavibi Vitam, this shlok. Um, he, these are the greatest donators, the Buri Dajana. So the, 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 the Badajiv has no power even to, to describe the taste and it, to, 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 to glorify. Um, uh, the, 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 the spiritual master, like maybe you remember the glorification of our Bhakti Vedanta Vedanti Maharaj on the appearance day of Sri Rupa Siddhanti Maharaj, how the disciple has no power or no, cannot realize the magnitude of the spiritual master. So quite the body if is quite in some predicament. So, but in our hearts, we can remember the, 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 the taste and the, um, the 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 the, the, the Buri Dajana, the great donator, but there's one problem. One day the Nitya Mukt, uh, the Nitya Muktaji, they will enter Apakrit Leela. And then how who will feed us? Then again we're in this very poor condition, like our Bhaktivedanta Bhagavad Maharaj. He he told he, only he could make progress with the nourishment of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Shila Gorgavinda Maharaj and um, our Srila Gurudev. So when the spiritual master, he returns to the upper Kridlila, the, the Nitya Badajiv, again, he's in a very, very poor condition because where he, can he get food or nourishment? How, how it will it be possible? And Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, he described how this is the, um, this is the official standard of feeling separation from the spiritual master that now we cannot, um, we cannot hear anymore the, the Harikata, the very beautiful Harikata of Srila Gurudev. That's the official standard of feeling separation. So now I, um, I want to come to the second part of the introduction, which is the qualification or the symptom of the real Guru Das or Guru Dasi. And also we have seen this in our Gurudev. Um, like our Gurudev, mm, once he was asked, then why are you not making so many temples? And then Srila Gurudev said, I want to make the heart a temple. Like in this bhajan, in this kirtan of Bhaktunotako, Mana Mandira Re. I want to establish a temple inside the heart because when I will, not in this world, there may be so many fighting about bricks and stones and uh, I don't want that somebody will fight about bricks and stones, so I want to establish a Monday inside the heart of the disciples. So how technically, I heard this from very senior Vaishnavas, this is not my philosophy or my idea or my realization. The Adhika of the real Guru Das or Guru Das is the constant worship or constant Arati of the spiritual master. Um, and by this, the, 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 the temple of the heart is established. It's like the, 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 the cornerstone. And I also heard from very senior Vaishnavas that all Tattva Siddhanta is realized through the Guru Tattva. So there should be no gapping in the um, worship of the spiritual master inside the heart. Um, one should worship, one should do Arati. And in this way, the disciple, he's seeing his Gurudev sitting uh, walking, chanting, and also he's talking to him, like also we heard from Srila Gorgavinda Maharaj. He told, every day I'm listening to the Harikata of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and also um, our Gurudev, I heard yesterday, he, he could very easily listen to 
uh, Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Maharaj, he came to him and he ex exactly instructed him how to build the, the Mat and Navadvip Dam, how the deity altar look, look like, should everything, he heard this directly from Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. So there must be a symptom. How, how can we know that our Guru Parapatma, our Patita Pavana, how he has manifested on our heart? And this is, there's only one feeling, one symptom. How can I make others understand? How can I make others connect to my Guru Parapatma? And how can I make my Gurudev appear in the hearts of others? And this is what we have seen in our Gurudev. When he came to Western countries, he always he wanted to glorify Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada because our generation, they have never seen Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Then how we took darshan of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada by hearing, by hearing, by this Shroti Panta. This is the very deep inner, uh, uh, inner teaching of our Guru Parampara that we take darshan by hearing not so much by external, because the jiva is blind, like I tried to explain before. We're only taking the external darshan, like one day, Srila if he told, one day you have to give up attachment to my body. Then there was a great confusion. And one senior disciple of Srila if he explained to me, he told, Srila Gurdjieff's inner attention is here that we should start growing attachment to his inner eternal swarup not to, so much to his sadak deha. So everything will, re, will be revealed by this Guru Puja. So also Srila Gurudev, he, he took very great happiness to be counted among the disciples of Srila Prabhupada. He always, he, he told like, I'm the first disciple of Srila Prabhupada. When Srila Prabhupada, he did not come to the West, already he had one disciple and that was I, Srila Gurudev told. And always he tried, he took very great happiness in this, um, in this, that he, he will be accounted among the disciples of Srila Prabhupada. And also whenever there was a possibility of, um, of, 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 to see, of, of the disciples of Srila Prabhupada or Srila Gorgavinda Maharaj to speak, he let them speak, that we could take darshan of Srila Gorgavinda Maharaj, of Bhakti Rakshak Shida Maharaj, of Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, Sri Rup Siddhanti Maharaj. Um, so many, we took darshan by hearing about their glories and I remember this is one very important point. The disciples of Srila Bhakti Vinanta Swami Prabhupada, they, um, they always glorified Srila Gurudev in a following way. They said, he is our Shiksha Guru. How he is our Shiksha Guru? That now we are learning how to serve our Prabhupada. Because Srila Prabhupada, he cannot glorify himself. He cannot... Mm. He, he was glorifying Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And he, he took the name of Prabhupada. Why he took the name of Prabhupada? I heard this yesterday. Because Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Prabhupada, he manifested in his heart. Therefore, he, he took the name of Prabhupada. He, he, he wanted this name. So um, this is Shiksha Guru. He who, he, he who is teaching me how to serve my Gurudev, even though he has entered Nitya Lila, then how I will be connected to him now, how I will serve, serve him. So he is Shiksha Guru, he is teaching me this Tattva Siddhanta. So now I think maybe 10 minutes are left, I don't know. So I try to remember some points from Sri Nabat Dam. One day uh, we were very fortunate, we took, um, we took bath in, um, the Ganges, I took bath together with uh, Tilak Raj Prabhu and um, somehow we were making Tilak, we put on our dhotis and then we passed by the Samadhi of Bhakti Vedanta Tirikra Maharaj. But at that time there was no building, no nothing. So sometimes the Ganges came and just over flooded the whole place and also there's so many Vaishnava Samadhis. So uh, as we, the, and, and the main door, it was locked. So as we as we were looking inside the compound, then we saw one very effulgent person, some some sannyasi, but you know, we couldn't see it clearly. So uh, Tilak Raj and I, we looked at each other, so we had to go because we felt so much attraction. So we walked around the compound and already I could see at the entrance, I could see Srila Gurudev's um, shoes. So I took the dust out of Srila Gurudev's 
very secretly, I took the dust out of Srila Gurudev's chapel and I put my whole face, my whole body, I took the, 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 the dust, the Jintamani dust of Navadvi, which, which has fallen from Srila Gurudev's feet and I just I decorated myself with the dust. And when, uh, when we come close to Srila Gurudev, because at that time there were so many Paramahamsas, so many sannyasis, so many sannyasinis and senior disciples of so many other um, Acharyas that it was very difficult to come close to Srila Gurudev. So we felt so much fortunate to come close to Srila Gurudev because at that time there was only Brajanath Prabhu and one Sevak and I can't, I, unfortunately I can't remember his name. So we were doing Parikrama of the Samadhi of Srila Trivikram Maharaj and Srila Gurudev and already we heard from Vanamali Prabhu the, the, the great art of joking of Srila Gurudev. So Srila Gurudev he told I bought this land from my own pocket. So they are growing vegetables here. Um, because Godi Vedanta Simiti, somehow they were growing vegetables there on this compound. But Srila Gurudev, he never is the possessor of anything. He, he, because all these vegetables they offered to Takuji at Devananda Godimat. So this was his very sweet way of joking. And I remember how um, Srila Gurudev, he instructed uh, Brajanath Prabhu to build one samadhi like Rupa Goswami, the, the Samadhi should, like, should look like Rupa Goswami. And I remember this was so much um, instructing also about the position of Srila Chirika Maharaj, how he was um, really a Nitya Siddha Parika. And um, I remember both and I, uh, both Tilak Raj Prabhu and I, we were so, like if you shake a bottle of soda, then so many bubbles come, so much giggling of happiness was inside. We, we couldn't hold ourselves anymore. We were just we were just, um, we were just so much blessed by Srila Guru's appearance, by his sweet words, how he was conversating with Rajanath Prabhu. So, when we walked back to our um, to our rooms, we, we we were just we were just we were not part of this world anymore. We just we got some very deep insight and blessings, and uh, also I want to remember, like one day Srila Guru, if he, uh, it was just two or three days. I think, or one day before Navadvi Dhamparikrama, I can't remember which year. Then there was nothing, no building, no nothing, because uh, when I joined Srila Gurudev, I wanted to be so badly part of Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. But when I first time I met Srila Gurudev, then Gurudev said, oh, we, we are leaving Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. So it was just some very, um, some special time. So at that time there was nothing in Navadvi, nothing. So Premananda Prabhu and his followers, they what did they do? They they collected some bricks and stone and they make some pathway and some like small, small place. Um, actually, yeah, you can call that a mandir, but it was just bricks and stones, some bamboo sticks and some roof. But it was so much uh, authentic, it was so much transcendental, like Srila Gokishore Das Babaji Maharaj, even in wintertime he he preferred to sit in the Chintamani dust of Navadvip Dam. He never had any asa, nothing. He just he wanted to sit in the dust of Navadvip Dam. So Srila Gurudev, he, he asked us to, one time, he, he was chanting the Maha Mantra one time. And he said, oh, everybody now together should chant Maha Mantra for one time. So, uh, so we... Chanted Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Then Gurudev, he told, no, I'm like Nityananda Prabhu. I'm like Nityananda Prabhu, and I'm responsible for you to return back to the spiritual world. So that was quite impressive. That was just, uh, that was quite impressive, not only to me, to everyone. So also I like to remember how one day uh, we went to the, in the beginning of Navadvita Parikram, it was the common etiquette to seek the blessings of Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, who without any doubt, he manifested inside the heart of Srila Gurudev. But um, it was not, at least to me, or I don't know if it was visible to everyone, but that day, um, it was so special. It was visible to everyone. Like uh, when that happened, Srila Gurudev, he, he came to the Samadhi of Bhakti Pragyan of Goswami Maharaj and Krishna Das Prabhu, he, he was singing on the top of his voice. All the kirtan went, uh, went on the maximum level of, I don't know how to explain this in, in words. 
and everything was crowded and packed and really it should look good if he came and he paid his even though in very old age he paid his full astanga dandavat pranams to the samadhi of Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Kushwami Maharaj and there was such a strong current I had the good fortune to stand just in the middle. Left side was Srila Gurudev, right side was Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Kuswami Maharaj. And as Gurudev, he offered his Dandas Pranams. There was like an earthquake, or I don't know. It is not that I felt it, everyone felt it. And that was the mercy of that day. I think every time that happens when Srila Gurudev, he offers his Dandas Pranams to Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Kuswami Maharaj. But that time really it was felt by everyone. It was such a strong current. And there was such a like a, 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 a nectar shower from the uh, Samadhi of Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Kuswami Maharaj that everybody could feel by whose mercy, by whose protection we are performing the Navat Vibdam Parikrama, who is taking carrying the weight, the, the responsibility, it was Param Gurudev. And it was so, such a wonderful scene. And uh, I remember how Bhakti Vinati Tirta Maharaj, he picked up Srila Gurudev. And uh, we, we we also tried to offer our Dandava Pranams to uh, Bhakti Bhakti and Kishra Kusama Maharaj at that time, but it was not possible because everything was so much packed with persons. So afterwards we had a chance to uh, to, to offer our Dandavat Pranams because it was the etiquette of the time if you could offer your Dandavat Pranams but if Srila Gurudev would offer his Dandavat Pranams you had to offer a second time there was the, 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 the etiquette so I think time is already more or less over I don't know if um, uh, two minutes Prabhu two minutes okay then I'm already okay then I just I finish with the I want to Today I want to um, I want to ask all the blessings of my God brothers and God sisters, all Vaishnavas in the past, in the future, um, that life after life I have only one desire that I will be born among these three: Bhakti Vinanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, our Guru, uh, Bhakti Vinanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, and Bhakti Vinanta Tirtha Maharaj. I only I ask. Uh, for this blessing, Vanchaka Paturupascha Kripa Sindupa Eva Cha Patinam Pavani Vyavaishnavi Namo Namaha. That was really, really, really beautiful. <clears throat> Thank, Thank you. you so much, Prabhu. That was. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you were going to be, it was going to be beautiful, but that exceeded it. Yeah, you blessed me, therefore, what, what could it go was, wrong? And your voice, honestly, I could, I like, you could have said, actually, you could have said anything, and just the voice melted my heart, let alone the words, which were even more sublime um and actually it made me really it made me realize two things um firstly your your first part when you were talking about we're blind we can't see and we can't hear and i was thinking yeah like i'm listening to leela all the time but what am i actually hearing i can't see any i look at the deity i don't see anything and i hear leela and i don't hear anything i suppose as we get more mercy as we progress we see more we hear more but this is what we're begging for and then it suddenly came to me that the word here, if you add the word, the letter T to the word here, so you hear transcendentally, you get heart. So when you mm -hmm. took us into the second part of your class about Gurudev wanting a heart, a temple in our heart, mm -hmm. I suddenly realized add T to here and you get heart. And that, that it like really, that I was smiling. I thought, thought wow, yeah, that's, that's a beautiful meditation. And every time we hear, this is why we can hear the same Leela like Damarastakam 108 times and it's still ever fresh because we're, we're seeing and we're hearing new things all the time by, by the grace of, of Guru and Parampara. So that exactly. in itself is a, is a sublime meditation that you've given us so that we can also maintain, not just maintain, but increase our enthusiasm because every time we hear Gurudev's, like these glorifications, like why are we doing 64 weeks of glorification because each time we glorify Gurudev, we're seeing, we're hearing more and more and more because our hopefully exactly. our vision, our hearing mm -hmm. is getting clearer as our mm -hmm. chitta exactly. is clear, clear, clean now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Madhurat Prabhu, Haribo, Dandavats will hopefully Hare Krishna, you'll, uh, thank you for giving me opportunity, Hare Krishna. Haribo, and hopefully you'll accept an invitation back later. <laughs>